What's up guys, I'm Jay Dove, and today I want to show you how to get any repeater online. Quick and easy, real simple to do. You're gonna to need to buy some stuff. Guys, this isn't cheap. If you want this thing to work okay, then you need to buy some stuff. Now, some of these parts I'm gonna show you are, are fairly expensive. I don't want you to get sticker shock. I don't want you to be scared. They are expensive, but they do work, and they actually work pretty well. And I'll show you the one that I'm using right now, and it does work really well. I've had really no issues with it, other than it does cut off the first part of your messages because it's a Vox setup. Guys, if you know, I've done videos on Vox before. They're finicky. You gotta really play with them. They're hit or miss, and if you really want them to work good, kind of key the radio, hold it for a second, and then start talking. And sometimes that helps, sometimes it doesn't. You know, um, another easy way to do it would be to have a Roger beep towards at the beginning. It would beep, that would cut your Vox on, then that would work. That would actually work really well, but people are probably gonna get annoyed catching the very tail end of that beep. But anyway, enough of that. I'm gonna show you the little setup. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and it's super simple. Anybody can do this. You just need a couple little pieces. So let me show you. All right, so I got you on the GoPro. Let's walk over here and I'll show this to you. So if you know, this is the interface I do here real quick. I'll kind of show you, you know, what we have on the inside. All right. So now that we're in the program, let me show you this. So we have right here, this, this program right here, this is our uh, beacon software. This thing will do a ton. Here's just some things. You want DTMF tones, you can do them. All I really use it for is my beacon. And when I'm testing right here, you can come up here and click and it will repeat anything that it hears on the repeater. So if you say testing one, two, three, it'll do it. It'll say, it'll repeat back, testing one, two, three. Really good for, you know, testing when you're by yourself. Right next here, we have our date and time software. I have a header message. You can have a hello message and you can have a goodbye message. So you can say, you know, the header, this is the XYZ repeater. And then you can say, hello, uh, feel free to use the repeater. And at the end of it, you can have your Morse code tones or you can say goodbye or whatever you want, you know? If you really want to know this little program right here, this is how I make all my messages. So you can use those. That works really good. Um, here's my Zellos. This one is my Zello channel. This is a channel that I actually use to monitor the repeater. So if there's local people keying it up and talking on it, I'll know. This is GMRS Nationwide. This is another program or another Zello channel that's on my repeater. So if I come right here and click it, right now there's silence because I'm testing some things. But if I click that, if someone keys my repeater up, they will be talking nationwide to GMRS uh, nationwide. And let's see, there's 41 people in it right now. Nope, I can't see. All right, so now that I fixed that, so we put that back in here. But these are my two Zello channels. If I keep my repeater, it'll come across this one and this one as long as I had that button clicked. Right now I can talk on it and I'm not interrupting these guys, but you're actually, you'll, you'll still hear that over my repeater. So. That's kind of how the software looks. This is what I've got. You know, you can come up here. I can click on it and I can say, hey, I want it. I want it at every 60 minutes. I want it to say the outdoor temperature, the weather chill or the wind chill, precipitation. And it'll it'll say that um, right up here. You know, your beacons and stuff like that. So a lot of stuff you can do with these programs. Pretty simple to use. All right, let's get back to the video. Now that we've come back out of the computer, let me take you up here and show you how this works. So I have a single USB that hooks in. This is my mouse for my computer. A single USB, it runs up here, and I've got a temperature that I cut off so y'all didn't hear the fan. But you know, right now we're at 116 degrees. Probably should let the fan run, but it'll be okay for a minute. This radio is how I'm interfacing with my repeater. You know, our repeater is in another area of the house. It's actually, we've, we've moved it to, an, well, it, it's in the same spot. All this is in a different spot. So you've got the repeater right here. I've got this handheld or this mobile radio. I've got it set to low power. You know, it, it gets warm. You put that fan on it though and it cools down pretty quick. Like I said, we're at 116. We'll let it go for a second. I come up here. You've got this wire runs back to our signal link. The signal link right now is how I'm running it. It is a Vox setup. It works okay. It's not great. It's not perfect. It does cut off the first part of your message every once in a while. How The reason the signal link works as well as it does is this delay function. You can make this thing, once it triggers, stay on for a, you know, a different length of time. And it's really convenient to not cut people off in the middle when you know, they take a pause. I don't know about you guys, but some people just get on the radio and they'll get talking and you know having a good time and they'll stop. 
collect their thoughts, and then they'll keep talking. Well, a lot of Vox setups will drop you right there because it's not he hearing anything anymore, so it quits. That signal link doesn't do that. Like I said before, me and a buddy of mine, we actually just uh, put out our prototype. Get, we should be getting it in pretty soon. So you take this radio, and there'll be a COM port connection, just like the Midland MXR10 repeater. So, you know, be or stay tuned for that because that thing's going to work really good. We're going to do some tests and do some videos on it. I think you guys are going to like it. But like I said, I've got this here. This is this is the main guts of our. This is what's talking to it. If I wanted to, I could put that thing on a ham frequency and talk to the repeater up on the mountain and put it on Zello. But it wouldn't matter. Now I'm not going to do that because I know the repeater owner and he probably would not be excited about that. But we're up to 118. Like I said, it runs around that 80, sometimes 90. Um, I do have just a power supply up here. I like this one for you know my testing and stuff like that because I can I can pay attention to the amps. This thing only pulls like three amps on low power. So this is this little setup. Now I've got another radio that just sits up here. That's really good for monitoring the uh, channel. That way I know, you know no one's doing anything they shouldn't be doing. And then I've just got a coax that runs outside. Right here's a test point that I can put you know, a meter on. Probably shouldn't have as many barrel connectors in this setup as I do, but hey, if, I, if anything gets burned up, it'll be this radio. And to replace this radio, you unplug the RJ45, you unhook it, you throw it in the trash, you throw another one up there. Super simple. These little radios, they hold up good and they're they're pretty well built. This one's the Redivus, but the TYT 9000D is the exact same radio. You can do the same thing. And as long as you know your microphone pinouts, you can do this with any radio you want. Like I said before, I just came up here and mounted a fan. I gave myself a gap in the wood up here. I got a fan and this is a temperature sensor. And I've actually got the temperature sensor inside this box right on the transmitter right here. So that 118 degrees or whatever it says, 111 degrees is the actual transmitter temperature. That is the hottest part of the radio. I let that thing run one day and put the heat gun on it and figured out where the hottest part was. Stuck the sensor on there and it's been there ever since. And it works really good. That fan cuts on at I believe, what do I got it set as? It cuts on at 85 on, or 95 on when it uh, reaches you know 85, the fan automatically cuts back off. So this little setup has worked good. Like I said, this is just a cheap computer from Walmart. Um, if you looked at my box video, you'll see there's a little square computer you can use. Works really good for something like this. All right, guys, quick, real quick. I had a, a guy bring it up to my attention that I didn't even think to tell you. You can use this exact same thing and do a node. Instead of putting a GMRS um, repeater channel in that radio, put an FR, or not your FRS, just put your regular GMRS simplex channel in there and bam. Now you have a node. You can sit at your house with your radio, key it up. And talk to us on GMRS Nationwide. You can get on my channel and talk to me. Or you can get on whoever's channel you want and it'll work with your radio. Don't have to have it. Or don't have to have your phone anymore. So just keep that in mind. You can uh, make a note out of this whole setup doing it the exact same way. All you're doing is changing that frequency. Now to show you that this setup is actually controlling my repeater. Let's walk in here and look at it. So this is the Redivus uh, repeater. Right now I've got it cut off. Um, we're doing some testing right now. I'm actually... I've had a lot of people tell me that this thing is going to die. It's going to burn up. You cannot run it on a net. One, this thing's been running on a net now for a while. I, I ran it on here, I think, for two months before I finally took it off. And I started running the red of us to start testing it. I do like this one. This is a great little radio. But as you can see, I've got, I'm bypassing the, exter or the internal duplexer to use this external one. So I started testing this duplexer because I had a lot of people tell me these things were junk and they don't work good. So I wanted to try it with this radio, and now I'm trying it with this one. So far, I have yet to see a difference. They work just as well. Even when you use the internal duplexer, works just as well. Haven't noticed an issue. I will say, I get almost six watts out of it. All right, I'm not really sure what happened with the, with the GoPro. It just kept saying it couldn't record anymore. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But you know, if you've ever used GoPros, you know they're, they're hit and miss. But like I was saying before, testing out that other duplexer, people told me they're junk. I want to see if they are. The Midland MXR10 works great with the internal duplexer, so I wanted to see. Does it work just equally as well without it? Answer is yes. It works just as good with the 50-watt duplexer as it does with the other one. The Redivis, you know, the two Redivis repeaters together, I think it's the RA87, they work just as good with it. I have yet to have any desense issues, any issues at all. If I do start having problems with you, hey, 
I'm not beholden to these companies. I will let you know if they're junk. If they're junk, I'll let you know. Right now, they're not junk. They've been great. Zero issues at all. But you wanted to see like a quick little easy setup to do, that signal link right there. Um, I'll put a link down to our Amazon store. There'll be everything in there. I do get a small commission off of it. Helps the channel out, helps us grow, helps us put out stuff like this because I've got like six different ways to put this radio online and I'm, I'm doing it for you guys. I'm trying to show you all different ways you can do this and trying to show you that you don't have to have the best of the best top end equipment to make this stuff work. Do it in your price range. Don't go into debt to do this stuff. It's a hop. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And like always, take somebody outdoors. Are you ready for the battering ram? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, Sissy, you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Bye-bye.